we got here is a 2021 Honda Civic uh, hatchback sport. Um, my fiance wants a trailer hitch on there so she can load her bicycles up. And we have one of those racks that fit on the bumper and that fits on like the windshield but it's kind of pressing into her bumper and kind of indenting it for a little while and it's freaking her out. She wants something that's a little more secure too. So I've searched the internet and I'm sure if you're here you have too um, and you realize that they just don't make them for these cars. And I'll show you what I got out here. This is her uh, 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatchback. And the issue is the way this exhaust is in the center and it's all the way up into the bumper, they just don't make them for these cars. The exhaust on the other models are spread out, I believe, or they're lower or something. I just, I just know they're not in the center. But basically what I'm trying to do is fabricate this so that it fits in between these pipes here. And uh, the ones I've seen online, they just, they're kind of flush here, but she wants her sticking out a little further so it doesn't like, you know, the bicycles don't rub the back of her car and stuff. So what we're gonna do is get back in here. I picked this up, I believe from Amazon, and I'll put all the links down in the in the section uh, below the video. But that's the number for the hitch. It's the one that actually fits the Honda Civic, but it's like I said, it's not one for the hatchback sport. So I've done some research online, and this is what a few other people have done. And this guy, he uh, he made a little schematic showing everybody how to do it. So I figured I would do mine and make a video on showing everybody how to do it. And I appreciate him making this for everybody. Um, so basically what I did was when I got it, I cut this section here. I cut it right here with my plasma cutter. As you can see, that plasma cutter is just not good enough to cut through that stick steel. I should have used the sawzall like I did on these pieces. But yeah, you just remove this section here and first I cut this bar out here. I cut this bar here. And I was gonna reuse this, but I'm afraid it's too short for what she wants to do. So I cut this bar out first, then I cut these off, and then I cut this other section after I measured it. And basically what I did is I couldn't find a nine inch, I couldn't find a nine inch pipe or hitch. And what I had to do is buy a 12 inch and I cut it off and I've tack welded it to so, so I can like take her bumper off and fit it. But basically what I did was on this one, I'm not sure if he'd done his that way or not, but I just cut this little notch out so it would sit perfect down in here. Let me flip it over. And as you can see, it fits perfect. And once it's all like tack, or once it's all welded and everything, and I fit it and stuff, I'm gonna weld it here. But I want to leave enough space so I could like you know get a really good weld. But I'll grind these down a little more smooth and make sure they're not rubbing the exhaust or anything. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave that ring on the end. I'd like to, but if it's too long, I may, I may remove the ring and cut it off, or either I may just like move this. I don't know which one would be easier. But I'm hoping this is going to be the right length. So, let's see. And that's going to be the first video. And what I'm going to do is do this in probably like, a, like three videos. And the next video will be of me uh, taking off her bumper and fitting it. And I believe what I'm going to do once I'm done fitting everything and I weld it, I'm going to sandblast everything and I'm going to paint it up real nice and everything so it looks good.